Do you know what you're really paying for your new home? Sadly, the price you pay for your property isn't the only cost involved. So don't get caught unaware partway through the buying process. There's always extra costs and fees included and obviously you want to make sure that you're um, getting a home with great value. I suppose you've got your conveyancing, you've got your agency fees, you've probably got property inspections, you've got a whole raft of things to think about. Stamp duty and uh, conveyancing and building inspection report. Property prices are high at the moment and so your stamp duties are one of the things you have to factor into you know, your financing. Yeah, it's, a, it's sort of a bit of a deterrent, I think, in a way, for moving, moving properties. There are a number of other costs to consider. Stamp duty usually needs to be paid within 30 days of settlement. It's dependent on the state you buy in and the price of the property, but in New South Wales, a $600,000 home will have an additional $22,000 stamp duty tax. Lenders mortgage insurance is required when you're borrowing more than 80% from the banks. So if you've not saved 20% or more for your home, expect another $10,000 cost on top of your purchase price. In addition to these big ticket items, don't forget building and pest inspections, bank loan application fees, document preparation fees, title registration, adjusted council fees and water rates, plus any other last minute emergencies. Home buying is an immensely rewarding process, but you can reduce the associated stress by being prepared for any extra costs. Speak to an expert to get the right advice and get a real understanding of what you'll need to pay.